Today we're looking at the world's most expensive traffic tickets. You thought your speeding ticket was BS? How about the one at the top of our list that cost the driver over six figures? And it all starts with the first speeding ticket ever. Tickets! Oh, oh yeah! What are they good for? Absolutely nothing! Sing it again now! Tickets! Oh, oh, yeah. On January 28th, 1896, in the quiet town of Kent, England, Walter Arnold was driving his Benz Motorwagen a staggering eight miles per hour. Four times the posted speed limit of two. He and his horseless carriage were chased for five miles by a bobby on a bicycle. Once the bobbies caught up with him, he was summoned to court and fined one shilling. Spoiler alert, this is gonna be the cheapest ticket on the list. But can you really even blame him for speeding? Because the speedometer wasn't even invented for another five years. That's called a loophole. But just three years later, the first speeding ticket in the US was issued, and it was actually in an electric car called the Electrobat. Taxi driver Jacob German was doing 12 in an eight zone. It was arrested and thrown in jail. And that brings us to the first real speeding ticket over 100 years later, a time I like to call right now. In March 2023, a man named Zon John Akopian was stopped in his Lamborghini machine Aventador SVJ for doing 152 miles per hour in a 55 on Highway 154 in Santa Barbara County. The CHP posted images from the stop on social media with a caption, 154 is the state route, not the speed limit. Proving one more time, cops are funny. A copion actually tried to fight the ticket and pled not guilty. The judge suspended his license for 30 days and he was fined $1,950. I mean, honestly, it's pretty lenient considering that he was going 97 miles over the speed limit. For number three, we're heading across the pond to ye old Scotland, where Shrek is from. The real Shrek. Not this fake Shrek from the movies. No, I'm talking about the real guy. The one the movie was based on. The actual Shrek. In 2006, amateur race car driver Ronald Close was clocked doing 156 miles per hour in his BMW M3 CSL. Now, if that's all he was doing, he probably wouldn't have made this list. But the inflated price of this ticket probably had to do with the fact that he was doing that speed while he was talking on his cell phone. With the added charges, a Scottish race car driver had to pay a fine of $4,643 for his reckless driving. You know who's on the other end of that phone call? Donkey. The real one. Not the Eddie Murphy one from the movie. The actual guy. I used to date him. We're still friends. Here's another news flash for you. You think Canadians are nice? Think again. In 2008, this Canadian fast tracked his way to the naughty list by traveling 163 miles per hour on his Honda CBR motorcycle. Probably related to Jeremiah. I don't know. He outran police, but was found and identified later in a town. <laughs> he negotiated to pay a $12,000 fine to avoid jail time and having his license revoked. This is the record for the most expensive ticket in Canada. Honestly, I'm surprised that it was so high. If you're driving a car, you have a lot more chance of hitting and killing another person, so your fine should be more. But if you're on a motorcycle, look, fun fact. In Canada, they call jail the goose coop. Fun little fact to impress Maddie Matheson the next time you're eating at one of its restaurants. 2023 was all about 2020 me, but this year, 2024, is 2020 for your follicles. And with today's sponsor Keeps, it's never been easier to keep your new hair resolution. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or take care of the hair you have, Keeps makes it easy by delivering clinically proven treatments right to your front door. All treatment plans come recommended by a licensed medical provider and are customized to meet your specific hair goal needs. Get a special offer to kick off your journey to a fuller, healthier head of hair by visiting keeps.com slash donut media or click the link below. Remember guys, hair loss stops with keeps. 
In May 2015, a 45 year old British man named David Pickup, which is ironic because he was ticketed for doing 101 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone in a car, an Audi R8 to be specific. He got caught because the UK uses speed cameras to deter speeding on major highways. Allegedly, he joked with the officers and asked, Can we call it 98? And they were like, No! This is no laughing matter for the UK court system. Later, Pickup and his attorneys challenged the offense by questioning whether or not it was even his car that the speed camera caught and argued that the cameras are inaccurate. They were like, yo, my client's name is Pickup. You think he'd be driving a car? Lawyers wearing wigs on the other side clapped back by hiring an expert who I assume was also wearing a wig to prove their case. This expert rented an airfield and an R8, placed speed cameras alongside the runway, and had chase cars documenting the test. The result proved the accuracy of the cameras and David Pickup was charged 675 pounds for speeding and an additional 10,425 pounds to cover the prosecution's bill for all that speed camera runway stuff for a grand sum of 11,000 pounds or $17,400. Sometimes you just gotta swallow your pride and plead guilty. But the British bad boys don't stop there. Those pesky cameras came back to bite our next driver when they caught him speeding on 23 three separate occasions. Driver Marius Ballin never exceeded 93 miles per hour, but the fact that he refused to identify the driver of the vehicle, likely him, led to an accumulation of fines adding up to $18,300. His license was suspended for 30 months after being assessed a record-breaking 138 points on his driver's license. That's a lot of points. 23, a lot of points. Michael Jordan much? Another BBB, which is what I call British bad boys, <laughs> named Farah Hashi traveled to Dubai and paid $1,550 and handed over his passport as collateral to rent a Lamborghini Huracan for two days. Beginning at 2.30 a.m., the driver tore through the streets of Dubai for three to four hours and triggered a total of 30 Three speed camera fines exceeding 150 miles per hour at times. Once the rental company was made aware of these fines, they filed for a travel ban on the tourist to prevent him from leaving the country. But as fines in the UAE are the responsibility of the rental company, their crest was denied. Hashi was unable to leave the country without his passport and the two parties entered a sort of stalemate. The total of all the fines added up to $48,000. And the two parties went back and forth for over a week until eventually working out an undisclosed settlement. Now in the US, there are caps on how much a ticket can cost you. For example, Oregon and Virginia have the most severe maximum speeding fines in the US, which can top out at $2,689 in Oregon and $2,500 and a year in jail in Virginia for going 20 plus miles per hour over. So the rest of the list is mostly gonna be overseas. But this next offense is worse than any fine you could imagine. Possibly the most extreme driving penalty ever in the US. In 2015, a man named Robert Bell was clocked at 176 miles per hour in his R33 Skyline GTR on I-35 outside of Williamsburg, Kansas. He was leaving the import face-off event in Wichita, Kansas. A chase ensued, and at one point, Bell had four police departments chasing him at once. He passed through three counties before the Skyline's engine blew, probably from oil starvation in Cylinder 6. He was arrested by the Franklin County Sheriff's Office and was charged with fleeing a police officer doing 101 miles per hour over the speed limit, reckless driving, expired tags, impeding normal traffic flow, unsafe lane changes, and failure to signal. He was given $100,000 bail, and the saddest part of all, his car, which did not meet import requirements of being 25 years old or older at the time, was seized and presumably crushed. Moral of the story, don't evade four police departments at once in Kansas. Now this is where we really start to get into ludicrously priced tickets. In some European countries like Finland, the price of a ticket isn't based on how much you are going over the speed limit. Instead, the cost of the ticket is based 
on your income, which in my humble opinion is more fair because I think a lot of parking and traffic violations disproportionately punish poor people, especially in Los Angeles. In June, 2023, Anders Vilkloff, one of the wealthiest men in Finland, was doing 50 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone in his Bentley Mulsanne in the Åland Island. Only 20 miles per hour over. Now in the States, some nice policemans or womans might consider letting you off with just a warning, but no. This is Finland. This infraction cost this rich Finn $129,544. Vic Cloth is a repeat offender and has received numerous fines, including a 63,000 euro fine in 2018 and a $95,000 fine in 2013 for a grand total of 300,679 American dollars. He told local media, that he hopes his fine payments are used positively on something like healthcare. Hmm, imagine a rich person who cares about people being healthy. Hard sometimes, huh? But the Finnish fast tax doesn't end there. In fact, even if you earned your fortune overseas, Finland's government will find a way to get its clean little hands on it if you're speeding. In 2019, NHL player Rasmus Ristolainen was on a trip home in Finland when he was stopped by police for doing 50 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone in his Mercedes G-Wagon. The fine was levied based on his income, even though he earned it abroad. The fine basically could have bought him another G-Wagon because it cost him 100 and $35,000. In 2004, 27 year old Jussi Solanya, a Finnish heir to a sausage business who tabloids have dubbed the Sausage Prince, was ticketed for doing 50 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. Now, we couldn't find what car he was driving, but I like to imagine the Sausage Prince drives the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Yummy. Although it was the exact same crime as the previous offense, Jussi's income is over $7 million per year. So his ticket cost $217,000. Sausage Prince got smoked. In January 2010, a Swiss millionaire was caught driving his Ferrari Testarossa to 85 miles per hour through a village with a 50 mile per hour speed limit. The fine levy was high even for Switzerland, in part because the man was a repeat offender. The fine was record breaking, doubling the previous Swiss record given to a Porsche driver in Zurich in 2008, and the total was $290,000. I think I speak for everyone when I say, holy sh record breaking. But the record would only stand for seven months before the most expensive ticket on our list would break it. The most expensive ticket of all time for driving in a car. Back in August, 2010, a Swedish motorist driving a Mercedes SLS was clocked doing 180 miles per hour, 106 miles per hour over the speed limit on the Swiss A12 motorway between Bern and Lausanne. Most of the speed cameras he passed were incapable of registering anything over 124 miles per hour, which sounds like a life hack. According to local police spokesman Benoit Dumas, it took the car more than a quarter of a mile to come to a stop, and the driver told the police his speedometer was broken. The driver was not arrested, but the car was impounded, and later a mechanic discovered that the speedometer had been disconnected. Police also discovered the car was to be sold in Germany later that day. This man's last joyride cost him $1,092,340. I hope it was worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like illegal stuff and want to see Zach and Jeremiah do illegal things. All right, Jerry. Run that red light, baby. Check out this video. If you like my hat or my shirt or my pants, go to any Zoomies in North America or select Blue Tomatoes in Europe. We made workwear. We designed shirts and pants. Bye.